Hi, this is Casey with Tab Performance. Today we're going to be upgrading the stereo on our 2019 Street Glide Special back here. We're going to be putting 8 inch speaker bags in uh, as well as replacing the fairing speakers. Uh, so we're going to show you how to do that today. And uh, if you like the content here, please subscribe below and uh, click the little bell to make sure you get updates in the future. Alright, so now before we get uh, to putting the Sinister Sound System in here, we're going to start by taking the seat off and getting a few other things done to get us prepped and ready to go. So we've got a T30 here. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this screw out. All right, so now next we're going to move over and start loosening some bolts to get the tank off here. Uh, we need to get the tank off. It's just going to help us with running these wires up underneath this spine here. There's a little plastic jacket. Uh, you'll see guys doing installs at uh, the rallies or anywhere where they just fish it through or tie it up underneath here. It's just a lot cleaner. Uh, it's, it's a little more intimidating than it actually is to take these tanks off. They're pretty, pretty simple. So uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that here quick. All right, so first, right here, there's usually a little rubber grommet uh, casing on this bolt. Uh, still a T30. Hop in here. Get these two out. There's one on the other side just like it. All right, so it's still T30 here. Get up underneath here. Got two more bolts holding it in the frame here. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and just pull some of these breather hoses out of our way. And then disconnect this little clip right here as well. All right, and that should be the only three cables holding the tank down. Now we're going to go ahead and disconnect the fuel line. All right, so now to remove the fuel line, we're just going to grab some extra paper towels here just to catch any of the drops. There's not much that comes out when we do this, but this collet here just gets pushed up and then we pull down here on this little black uh, line. So we're going to go ahead and push up here and give it a little tug. You see there's just barely a few little drops is all, so you don't need to worry or, or go out of your way too much there. Um, and now the tank should be ready to be taken off. All right, now on the left side cover, you'll normally have to take your right side or left side bag off to get to this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull the fuse before we get started doing any of the wiring stuff. So we'll pull this, set it over in our tray, and then we'll get started. All right, once we get that cut, then we can just pull, this just slides right out, and we can kind of just set this aside. Should all stay together. That'll allow us to get this off of here fully. All right. Now that we got it open, this should be enough. This will give us access to the spine here. And uh, we'll go ahead and start our install. All right, now we're gonna work our way from the back front. So we're gonna do our eight inch back speakers here. Pop these off, unscrew like you normally would, you're gonna notice there's a few things missing here. Uh, we went ahead and kind of pre-took those out. We'll show you that here in just a minute. All right, so normally you'll have your little clips on here. These fasteners, it's just a T20. That'll go in there, back those out. Again, we've already kind of pre-done this for the video. We've got these clips off. Uh, you're gonna need those off in order to get the bag speaker down inside of here. It is going to be a little loose, uh, especially on the specials. Um, once you get your ported tube in there, that'll, that'll tighten that up. So don't worry too much about that right now. Um, one other thing that we'll mention, we'll show you on another bag with that bracket. If you do test it before and you end up finding yourself having some clearance trouble before you silicone everything down, you do have some little studs here that are popping that little bag up. Obviously those are necessary, but you can nip them off. Um, just, you know, take a quarter inch or something like that off of them that would drop that down and probably provide you the clearance needed on the bags that we had. 
uh, but we missed that we skipped that step and so uh, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of work with what we've got here all right so now once we get those clips off um, we're gonna go ahead and put our template up I use a couple uh, masking tape and just use some zip ties here into the grommets just to kind of hold it in place uh, and you can use whatever you want to mark it because we're obviously going to be cutting this out uh, we've got a little china marker that works really good for, for paint or coloring on here you will notice that their template comes uh, just not large enough quite so what I do is take this start here on this lip up in the corner so that way I know how long to make it and then I continue my line down and then just draw this little half moon freehand and as you see you've got plenty of gap here uh, to hide any sins all right so I'm not sure if you can see it since we had a black china marker on a black bag it's pretty obvious here standing over it but we've got our little circle drug out here uh, at this point we are going to want to remove these grommets um, with these still in here your jigsaw is not going to uh, make a good pass along here so we'll go ahead and pull these out it should just feed from the back side and then we're going to go ahead and tape off all the way around here um, make sure you're at least as wide as the jigsaw but uh, you can never do too much in this step All right, once we got this all taped off here, um, we wanna make sure that we're giving ourselves plenty of room for this slide to come around. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pick a drill bit to give us a place to get started with this. Um, obviously, you're gonna want one just a little bit bigger than your blade so you can get the blade in there to get yourself around. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and drill our pilot hole first um, and go from there. All right, once we get our pilot, we're just gonna pull this Make sure that we got our blade in here, make our cuts, come around circle, and pull that out. All right, now that we've got this piece cut out, I'm going to go ahead and just check the ring. It is always better to cut a little too little than a little too much. All right, now we're going to be cutting the hole for this port here we're going to use a two and three eighths hole saw all right so now the most difficult thing blindly hitting the dead center of this hole uh, i mean you can poke and hope and guess just take a little small drill bit which we're still going to do or what we've done is taped a ruler to here and set it at two inches on center we're going to push this onto here get our puck set and get our speaker set now we've got something here to give us a line so then we're going to take along the same plane and starting since we set it at 2 we're going to set it at 10 back here and then that is going to provide us with a dead center at 10 inches. Make sure our two rulers are lined up as good as they can be. And drill right here at 10 inches. Well, we got pretty darn close. I drilled through my ruler just a little bit. Looks like we need to be this way just a hair. This should be enough, honestly, if there's enough play. Um, we don't need to be exact, just within an eighth of an inch or so, and we're plenty close. So that worked out for the first time trying it. We're gonna take our speaker back out of the bag. We're gonna drill our, our hole with our hole saw. All right, so something we forgot to mention here when we were doing this, we do wanna lean this as far forward as possible on the new bags, because uh, we are gonna have to modify our existing bolt here we're gonna grind this off and use an allen to tighten this one down otherwise the thumb screw is going to get in the way of the bag small price to pay for big sound all right we're gonna go ahead and use our pilot here start drilling all 
All right, once we get this center drilled for our port on the side, uh, we are going to drill our hole for our cable. And I'm usually gonna run this and leave this inside the bag. Uh, so we're gonna drill it right below here. Uh, we're gonna use a 13 16 uh, so right to here. Um, and when we put this grommet in, once we get the other wires uh, run back from the front to the back here, you're gonna go ahead and make a little slit. So we're gonna go ahead and pre-cut this one up here just to make sure we can get our cords through there. So we're gonna get that cut up through there and then we can feed our cord through, pop it on, and then put it in place once we get the hole drilled. All right, so now we get our grommet. I'm just gonna put the Sinister Sound name inside here. Pop this through once we get our, once we get it run around our cabling. Side port in here. We are gonna put some silicon up around here and then down on the inside here. Pop that in. Silicon up this D-ring. After we remove our tape, put that back here. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and then we'll get started back up again. All right, so now we're gonna take the fairing front off here. So we've got the same T27. We've got a screw down here. We've got one up here. And then we've got three on the front windshield. Um, so we're just gonna loosen these up a little bit. And then we'll switch over to the other side and then we'll take this windshield off and set it aside before we take everything off. So once we get these screws done here off the windshield and we've got it a little bit loose, we should be able to get our windshield just pulled straight up and out. And then set that someplace safe. All right, once we get those bolts out, we're just gonna lift this whole thing off and uh, the headlight's gonna come with it. We're gonna obviously need to unplug that and then just set this aside someplace soft. Come here, if you wanna take a look at this. Be pretty easy, it's just a plug, nothing special. Pull that off, set aside. All right, now that we've got this opened up here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take these two speaker pods off and then we'll be able to start drilling our holes for the ports and getting our new speakers put in there so um, we're going to go ahead and get start getting these off all right once we get this plug pulled just use a little flat blade to get underneath there and pop these little grommets out and then the same thing on this side here if you've got an upholstery tool it probably would work a little bit better uh, we're just using tools that more are a little common in the toolbox. All right, looks like these are T20 here, so we're going to go ahead and pop the speaker pods off. All right, now we're going to just remove these two right here with our 532nd Allen. All right, now that those are out, we've got three more right here on the bottom side that we need to get to. Underneath the fairing, there should be three bolts, two on the top, and one on the bottom right here. Um, we'll get to those, making sure that we got, uh, using our little extension with the swivel, uh, will allow us to get into there, and these as well, you're gonna need that for. All right, so these are gonna be a 3 16 instead of that 5 30 seconds. And we're just gonna snake this through here. All right, now to get to these top two that are up underneath here, we had to switch to a 716 socket just to give us clearance past this major plug. Um, and then we pulled that guy out as well just to give us a little more space here. Um. All right, now we've got the pods out. We're just gonna take our T20 here, 
and remove these four screws on each speaker. Once we get that out, the speaker should just pull on out. Put these set aside and then pull our little grommet out the side. Alright, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. Alright, so now that we've got those all taken apart, we are going to drill our pilot holes using these templates that just lay in here. We're just going to drill our pilot on this one and this one. So again, let's make sure you guys can get a good look at that. Um, and then once you get your pilot drill, then you'll use the hole saw. So drill first, that way we don't cut into it, and then we'll come back with the hole saw. Now that we've got that pilot drilled, the most important thing here is going to be that we go with the drill in reverse with the hole saw. We'll keep these ribs from getting all cut up and everything. So we've got our two and three eighths hole saw. We're going to come in here and we're just going to drill this in reverse. All right, now once we get that drilled in reverse, our little port should be able to go right into that hole. And going in here, as you can see, we are running into some of the fins. So we are going to go in just a little bit more and ream that out so we can make sure we can get down flush uh, with these top channels to make sure we don't have any issues with clearance later. All right, now that we got that cleared out just a little bit more in there, we can sit down nice and flush with our side port uh, to these ribs here. So we're going to go back to the part where we glue all this together and get this done here at the very end. We'll do all of the eight inch bags and the side speakers as well, all at the same time. So now we're gonna move on to the other side. All right, now when setting these, we've got two more little plastic pieces, one that goes down in here in the corner, and this will give you space for your feed, for your wire to come through. We'll have that going there with our port. And then the same thing with this piece on the other side. Now we're going to glue these when we do this, so I'm going to do this step later here. But you do want to make sure you pull through enough where you have a little bit extra to where you can get these prongs on the back of your speaker uh, without a ton of loose wire that's hanging around in here. So uh, just do just enough to get yourself, you know, a couple inches pulled past here if you're uh, pulling it straight out and you should be good to go. All right, now we're going to lay a quick bead around here and a little bit about inch and a half, two inches lower. Oh, we get a nice seal in here and then we're going to touch the back sides of these as well and just give ourselves a little tack. All right, now once we get this pushed down, we're going to make sure that we've got our little disc in there as well and that our cords are just a little bit out so that way we can reach our speaker. So right about here is where we want it. And then we're going to push this cone down flush with these tubes. All righty. And then we're just going to silicone around here. It does not have to be pretty. Don't worry about this hole. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing on the other one. So here we go. So then we're going to let them all dry. Let these dry. And then we'll do the, the rest of the install uh, tomorrow. All right, well, while we wait for some of those speakers to dry with the silicone, we're going to go ahead and remove the grills and get the tweeters put in. So we'll go ahead and turn this over here where you guys can see this. There 
should just be three little screws here with a T20. All right, now we do want to pay attention to how these go on. So I'll make sure you guys can see this here. If you see this tab, it's a little flat right on top. These have a little rounded edge. There's only one flat and it actually points toward the radio. Okay, now I don't know if you'll notice this or not. We do have this. Uh, from a previous picture out of here. Um, the previous owner on this used bike did have an amp in here and the system was either just not hooked up right or went faulty or whatever so we are replacing that obviously. So I got this all cleaned out and back to stock. We're going to mount our amp here. I'll show you how to do that later here in a bit. Um, but one thing you'll notice our power cable was already run so I'm going to show you. Feeds down through here through this wire guide um, and then goes down through the spine. And so if you are doing this from stock and you're going to run this, let me see if we can get a good picture here. Okay, so we've got our power running down through, coming down here into the battery. So we are going to have to remove the ECU and then remove the cover here so we can get down to our battery with that power cable. Uh, we've got a lot of other add-ons on this bike here, so we've got a lot of different connectors sitting underneath the seat here. Um, yours will probably look a lot more simple if this is your first install. We've got some zero LEDs on as well as some other stuff, so we've got a few more connections than normal. Um, but that power cable runs up through here and through the wire guide. And then this cable here is for our eight inch speakers. So I'm going to drop this just kind of in place, run it up along here, uh, along with that power cable, run it up front about the same length, and then we're going to start putting the bag speakers back on and getting those connections put in so we know where this needs to sit, how far up, how far back to make sure we have plenty of room. Uh, just making sure that when you're on here on a street glide, um, again when you move your handlebars, your fairing is going to move. So power cables and such, you do want to have a little extra slack so it can move uh, when you move the handlebars there. The other thing to keep in mind is you don't want the connection point to be where it moves. So when we take all of our wires and, and connect them, we're going to find a place to zip tie them up down below. So that way that's our point of pivot and that way our connections stay nice and tight. All right, so when we get down to doing this part, um, we are going to have some clearance issues and so I'll show you what we did here. We took the thumb screws and just zipped it off so we'll use an Allen to get those off. We just hit it with some silver paint just so it all looks the same. Um, that does provide you plenty of clearance here. And then this other bracket that you did have to take off just to get the bag, uh, the speaker box on, it is a little too snug here. So what we went ahead and did, I'll show you here, I'll take it off quick. We used that same step bit, you can use a Dremel or whatever, um, but we just came in here and shaved a little bit of this off right here. So we gave ourselves a little channel, uh, there was a little bit, it's a pretty thick box, so you've got a little room to work with there, and that'll give you plenty of clearance for this, this bracket. All right, now we're just going to pop this cover and run this cable that I was showing you earlier for the bag speakers down through here, uh, just to bring it down this side. Keep it underneath there where it's nice and hidden. Grab our one that we ground down, get a nice hand tight, and then get yourself a ball allen to tighten it up. Take our sinister sound grommet that we cut already, get this connector put together, 
And then we're going to go ahead and pop that through that slot. And then push it through. All right, now that our silicone is set up on everything, we're going to go ahead and pay attention. Black is negative. Red's positive. Probably going to have to split these open a little bit more just to get yourself a nice connection there. Make sure we're on firm. Set them back in place. And then we'll take our four screws, held the factory ones on. All right, now that we're done with this, we're going to move on to the other side. Um, one thing we did kind of just gloss over, you're going to want to do is squeezing these down to make sure that your connectors are nice and tight once you get them on the prongs. Um, they should hold, but just a little extra precaution to make sure you aren't having to tear into this thing later. All right. All right. So now that we've got all that done, we're going to put the pods back on. Remember, take the time here to look. Remember where those three holes are. We're going to need to hit those. And then you've got your three other spots that, that hold that pod together. It's not too difficult. They only go on one side here. Make sure we light it, line up the speaker or the uh, cigarette lighter. Run these cables up and get our pod in place. So now we've got these three cap screws just kind of mostly tight. I've got these two screws up there mostly tight and now I'm going to go to these three fun ones over here. Just a reminder for everybody, these little guys, rounded heads, are the ones that go up here cap screws, the socket heads are the ones that go up here in these three spots. And then you will have four that look somewhat similar. Um, the larger, longer ones are not what we're using here. We're using these shorter, smaller ones. And that's what's going to go on these three. Got those all hand tight. I'm going to go back and hit these three, these two, and those three. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to start just popping some of these connectors back in over here. All right, now we're going to take this gray plug, put it back in here for the cigarette lighter. And then we're going to kind of clean off this area here real good. And uh, use some double sided tape or some velcro. We're going to go ahead with some velcro right here on the deck. And that's where the amp's going to go. Which we'll show you how to mount that. You can probably do it either way. I like to just stick it on there like that. Slide this back up in here, keeping it on edge to get it back where we want it. And then smash that down. All right, so here you can test it first, uh, putting your fairing, and getting everything turned on before we put the spine back on. For this purpose, we're gonna go ahead and put the spine back on um, right now. So we'll get this clipped in. Be careful not to catch any wires. Make sure they're all stuffed inside nicely. And then we are gonna to wanna to make sure we remember to zip tie this back together when we're done here. So um, I'm gonna get this lined up. Start popping these. Where's that other piece? Oh. Alright, and then this piece, if you remember, just kind of flips in here. Alright, so now we're going to start putting the gas tank back on. Uh, this is going to be a two-man job for us because we've got some LEDs underneath here. 
uh, but you just slide it back up into place. Once you get these lines run through here underneath this guard, get our tank drop back down. Now we take our four bolts. We're going to go ahead and pop these two on as well as the front two. So we'll show you that. And then we're going to remember to pop this gray cable back together. Tan, I guess, if you will. Uh, and these, remember, just drop down. All right, we're about to seat back on. Now we can't forget to put this fuel line back in. Remember, we just push up. Make sure that collet slides down in nice and sturdy. Okay, now we're gonna twist these pairs up and we've got the two positives. Throttle side is gonna be channel two. So we're gonna come in here. We've got the two positives for the tweeter and the driver. And get those in there. This is a little flat blade, kind of like you'd use for glasses on the Moto 720. Some of them have an Allen. Uh, but basically, we're just going to tighten this down. Give it a little pull and move on to the negatives. It does help to cut a little extra in there. We're having trouble getting far enough in there to get to the clamp before due to the jacket on the cable being a little too big for two of them so if you strip it back just a little further that'll help twist those together looking good all right now channel one is going to be the clutch side same thing All right, now that those are all snug, we're gonna move on to the uh, rear speakers. One's gonna go positive, negative. The other one will go, one will go channel three, one will go channel four. All right, now each of these setups are going to be a little bit different. Um, we are going to go ahead and put these here. It goes uh, gray side, throttle, white side, clutch. So it's going to kind of crisscross from where it's at. Um, and then we will splice those into here. Your guys' parts are going to look a little different than this. Uh, these are an aftermarket um, part as well, but theory is the same. Gray black goes with the white black. White goes with gray. We'll go ahead and splice those two together. All right, so now that we've got this all wired up, we already kind of showed you guys these pairing the, the main speaker pods and the tweeters. Um, positive with positive, negative with negative, of course. Um, we've got the crazy eights in the back uh, going here, channel three and four. We do want these set to speaker because uh, we did not put in the RCA um, adapters. We just wired straight into here. We've got here, this is the, just says turn on. This is the radio, it's a blue. It's gonna come in your kit, you're gonna wire it up and go up into this little cable or uh, adapter that was empty. Uh, before so there was nothing plugged into it uh, these over here again they were part of this that we went ahead and just posi tapped in we talked about earlier if you haven't ever used posi taps i would definitely recommend investing in them it makes this really quick and easy all right now we're going to show you the final piece here for putting these uh, crazy eights back on the back um, this little molex connector here is going to go in 
here and clip in and pulled out this little rubber stopper. It is the one with the two sets of twisted blue twisted pairs, so you'll see four blue wires. Uh, we'll get that in there. We've got these ends stripped. Uh, you can use any type of a connector you want for the provided piece. This is going to just clip in here at channel input channel three and four. The black wire doesn't go anywhere. Um, again, white is green, purple is gray, gray goes on throttle, white goes on clutch side, um, and then you can use really whatever you want. We use the posi taps again just because they are a little bit easier to deal with. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. All right, now it's probably not entirely necessary, but I am just gonna electrical tape off these ends of these cut wires here just so we seal everything off real good. Uh, but now we've got those four done. Again, black doesn't go anywhere. Don't worry about that. Uh, leave it as is. We should be ready to fire it up and hear how this thing sounds. We've already got the, the uh, amp flashed and ready to go. And uh, we're gonna see how it sounds. All right, so now that we've got our speakers installed, we went ahead and tossed the fairing back on. Just sets in here remember don't forget to plug in your headlight pop it back you've got those three screws for the windshield that also hold the fairing and then you've got these here and here as well um, that we showed you when we were doing the disassembly um, but once it all gets put together you should see got our covers We've got from the back end here, it looks very clean. If you really look up close, you can see the Crazy 8s in there, but uh, they, they remain very well hidden and they look very nice. Um, so all in all, very happy with the install. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to play a sound clip for you really, just everything will be copyrighted and whatever and won't let us post the video so um, stop by and see us at one of the shows and we'll uh, turn Black Betty on here for you and let you listen to it.